All right, before this video even begins, I kind of think I did a shit job at this video. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I kind of think, like, this video was pretty garbage. I didn't even want to upload this, but I showed it to Rag. Rag said the video is fine, so it's whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's get it. <laughs> Alright, so this is Rogue Lineage. This is gonna be a Rogue Lineage video. I'm gonna start covering videos on Rogue Lineage once I start to get better at the game. Before we get even into gameplay about Rogue Lineage, we're gonna go over like the description of the game. Alright, so Rogue Lineage uh, what the hell? Rogue Lineage is a fantasy game with roguelike elements that the game revolves around the primitive mechanic. Which means that this game has a lot of primitiving. Way more than NO2. A lot more. Where each, where each of your characters will have but a select few lives before they die forever. You will pass down some pieces some pieces of yourself to your hair, who will become your next character. I don't think this part's in yet, though. Players will become will be, uh, progress by learning new abilities and trying to best their previous character. Forge houses with your friends and take control of cities or stick it out alone like a badass. Tackle inju uh, injuries, diseases, and mental trauma as you struggle to survive your way through the testament of masochism but whatever word that is all right so this game is a uh, very hard it's made by ragusa he was a uh, one of the devs for no2 he's like the he's one of the devs one of the devs because uh snake wasn't really uh, too busy working on no2 so ragusa was updating no2 at the time but then ragusa stopped updating no2 to come work on his game called rogue lineage and this is what his game is Alright, let's go over uh, some of the rules for, like, game entry. I'm not about to go through everything, but you can't play this game if you escalate things outside of the game, scam people, exploit, all that, like, basic stuff. Uh, there's no alts, no account sharing, and all that, all that. You, you already know the rules. It's like the same rules as NO2. Alright. For Rogue Lineage, to get into this game, I'm not really sure how, because right now it's just a beta phase with testing. This is Wave Zero, and I'm one of the Wave Zero testers. But yeah, this is just a testing phase for now. So I don't know how we, I don't know how Rag Ragusa is gonna do the testing for Wave One and stuff. I don't know how he's gonna do the entry and stuff. But what I recommend doing is joining the Discord and trying to get into the game somehow. I don't know what way he's gonna do it, but yeah, he's gonna do it somehow. All right, let's talk a little bit about gameplay. Gameplay in Rogue Lineage, this game is very hard if you don't know what you're doing. Right now, I don't really know what I'm doing because I haven't had the time to like put much work into this game, but all my friends that uh, used to play NO2, I mean, they still do, but not as much, they've been playing this game a lot. I mean, like Dabo, Dex, Fino, and all them, Nayuki, and all them. They've been tryharding Rogue Lineage while I've been playing NO2, so like, they're gonna teach me how to play and stuff. I recorded some footage earlier of Nayuki teaching me how to play and all that, but I don't know if you guys want to see that. If you guys want to see that, let me know and I'll upload it. I've already recorded it. It's already ready to get uploaded, but yeah. He just like showed me around the map and like what to do and like how to play. But in this game, the moment you get into the game, I recommend joining the Discord and I don't know, figuring out stuff. Like there's scrolls and stuff where like you have to like figure out potion combinations for like potions to heal yourself there's scrolls that hold spells like there's a lot of stuff in this game there's a lot like it it's so complex there's a permadeathing mechanic if you see right here five lives that means for my race i spawn with five lives but i'm pretty sure every normal race spawns with uh three lives like him right there that's fino he's spawning as like the mushroom race it's the rarest race in the game or something but like he can go underground and stuff and hide as a mushroom and I can click his head but well, it's not enabled right now but yeah hold on only got three but uh yeah this game is very complex if you don't know what you're doing you will struggle with this game like right now I don't really know what I'm doing but yeah there's a lot of classes and uh races you can roll like different races like there, I know there's a race that's like a berserker that I think if you get them low they like go into berserk mode but you don't just unlock their thing 
my race i have like a dragon breath move because my race is a of a dragon or something with horns at 15 days right now i've been so i've been alive for one day so that means i've gotten wiped so right now i've been alive for one day and nighttime lasts 20 minutes in this game and i think daytime lasts 25 or 20 i don't know dude but nighttime and daytime lasts a while so every day that goes by you uh eventually at f day 15 i get my first dragon skill which is like a dragon breath move that i can like shoot poisonous gas or something out of my mouth i don't, I don't know what it is but you get there, there's each class i mean race has different moves and stuff i don't know all of them because i haven't been playing this game much but there's a lot of uh, races that you can roll classes uh classes that's uh any race can go into any class that you want like right now i'm trying to go into a sidronite which a sidronite they get like fire sword lightning sword and all that stuff but like it's not as easy as you think this game is very complex meaning that like to become a sidronite uh just like i have to um, let me show you over here this is npc that i talked to over here like what this does is that this is a bounty officer i'm looking for a job you click this uh appears patrick who's patrick patrick is dabo <laughs> so basically what you have to do is as a bounty officer you're basically like i don't know the police of this game you have to hunt down that person and bring them back you have to carry their body like you press v on their body and then bring them here and like jail them and stuff like what that's what you do as a bounty officer there's a different uh class called uh i think chaotic uh cha what chaotic does is like um i think those have thief skills or something i'm not sure how all the classes and and uh classes and factions work in this game but it's kind of complicated I, I can't remember all of them but i'm pretty sure there's a lot though i don't know them 100 percent i'm gonna update you guys when i figure them out but don't take my word for this because i don't know them 100 percent because i haven't been playing this game much but yeah when you first start off in this game, I recommend coming to, what is this place called? I think this place called Sentinel. It's like the main town of the game. You come in here, like, I recommend buying armor and and the weapons and stuff. The weapons aren't that expensive. Well, some of them are, but to get money, you either kill people and then execute them, or you can find trinkets that spawn all over the map. This uh, is a little artifact thingy that I found. You take it to this thing, you appraise it. And you get money. I got four silver from selling that. But like, you can find necklaces, rings, and stuff all over the map. And there's like a potion system where you have to like combine, um, you combine ingredients and you make potions and stuff. And po potions are very useful in battle because you can like literally stop and heal. That's if you can even get it off. But yeah, this game has a lot to offer. Like, there's scrolls that hold spells and stuff. There's a lot of stuff in it. Like I don't, I don't know everything, but I'm gonna update you guys when I figure out everything on the game more about it. Cause I haven't been playing this game much. There's like a whole bunch of classes, races, and all that. Like you can, if you if you're chaotic and you kill a lot of people, you can get a great sword, and a great sword is very uh, strong apparently or something. You can go Sidronite. What Sidronite gets is a fire sword, lightning sword, and all that. That's what I'm trying to get right now. So I'm going to be jailing people. Uh, there's thief skills. Uh, assassin. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know all of them, but as I continue to play the game, I'm going to let you guys know all the stuff. I'm not going to leak too much about the game because um, Rikuza wants people to, when they get in the game, they want them to like learn all the stuff. So I'm not going to be able to show you everything, but I'm going to show you a little good amount. Just to like get you started so that when you join the game, you're not going to be like completely clueless. I mean, you will be clueless no matter what I tell you. At least I can offer you a little bit of stuff to help out. So what these are right here, these are the amulets that you can go take to the seller to sell and get money. Once you do that, you can like buy a sword and arm armor and stuff. But yeah. What else do I have to go through? Um, The combat. The combat is a, uh, I kind of like it. Sometimes I don't. But uh i'm using sword there's a dagger you can buy or i think those are like the only two weapons right now other than like mage skills and all that but the dagger and the sword is what you can pick from at the start to buy over time you continue to like get stronger weapons like uh a spell book a great sword um i don't know just a lot of stuff dude i don't know much about the game but 
I'm just telling you what I do know. My, I don't know if everything's 100% correct, but I know, like, uh, the races and all that's correct. But as I figure out stuff over time, I'm going to update you guys. All right, what else do I have to show you? Um, Erlin is just pretty fun, dude. I, I recommend trying to get into this group. This is a closed community game. I don't know how he's going to make that. I don't know how he's going to do the entry process, but when he does, I'm going to let you guys know what he uh, um. I'm going to let you guys know how you can get into this game and all that. But for now, you just got to watch me play it. <laughs> That's all I can really tell you. But this game is very cool. I'm not, I know I'm not showing you much right now because like there's no one in the server. I mean, there is, but all these are my friends. So like we're not really killing each other, but there's wars and stuff. There's faction battles and there's a lot of stuff this game has to offer. And it's getting, it's constantly getting updates every day. And like this game is very good. Why can I not get up here? What am I doing? Who's that? That's not Yuki right there. Hey, Yuki. What, what, what was he doing? Bar. That's Flash. This is Flash. Oh my god. Flash doesn't want to spar because he's a loser. Alright, but like... In this game, if you take fall damage, a lot of fall damage, you can get injured. By injuring, you can injure people while they're knocked down. Like if you go up to someone while they're knocked down, uh, you can press N on their body and then you can like break their ankle and stuff. And when your ankle is broken, uh, you limp like crazy. You walk super slow. And when I say super slow, I mean like really slow. You can give people concussions that will blind their screen and stuff, like distort their screen. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. Like it has a lot of real life elements, and if you get wiped, you basically have to restart. Right now, the um stuff about uh the stuff about where he said passing stuff down to your next character, I don't think all that's in yet, but it's gonna get added. I think. I don't know if he is gonna add it, but all I know is that knowledge is very powerful in this game. Like the strongest thing you can have in this game is pretty much knowledge. Like knowledge to combine scrolls to make a. I mean combine ingredients to make potions and scrolls and stuff and all that but knowledge is pretty much the most powerful thing you can have in this game knowledge overpowers anything in this game like if you know what you're doing you can you can be very strong in this game but all i'm saying is that this game is very fun i recommend checking it out but yeah all right that's enough rambling i'm gonna let you guys go now i'm gonna get some more information about this game continue to play it not be garbage at the game i don't know <laughs> but yeah there's like a magic bar right here I, I forgot to talk about this but this is a magic bar you unlock your magic after like fighting for a while and like with your magic you can hold g to charge and you can dash far um, dagger i'm fighting fina right now oh my god As you can see, is the mushroom race. Oh, I knocked him. Right now, you can like I can I can pick up his body. If I press N on his body, it's gonna give him an injury. It, it'll give him a random a random injury. I think I don't know. If I press N, it's gonna either break his ankle or something, or I don't know, give him a concussion or blind him. You can do anything. <laughs> Say, get rid of that range. But anyway, yeah, this game is very hard. Very hard. Your strongest key to this game is knowledge. If you know what you're doing, you can beat anyone in this game. But yeah, that's it about this game for now. I'm going to let you guys go. As soon as I get better at this game, I'm going to make more videos. But for now, this is all I can pretty much offer you. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. All right. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to continue to upload on this game, I promise.